Hi, uh, in my previous tutorial, I explained how to create tables in Oracle using Oracle SQL Developer Tools. So, as a continuation of that uh, same tutorial, I am going to create a uh, add, delete, edit option using Visual Studio for the same database which I created. Actually. So, for that, I am going to open this. Uh, this is the Visual Studio 2013 Professional. Okay, I'll be going to start a new project. So I'll start a new project. I'll select web. I'll start basic.net. So I'll select employee is my project name. And I select this is a Visual C application. Okay, I'll just select OK. I'll be going to select the MVC. And I don't want to want any authentication for this as so I'll select no authentication okay press ok so it's generating the project okay so still it's creating actually so this is my first application so let me run this one and see how what is the what it created for me. Yeah, it's the first time it will take little time because it has to build and everything. Okay, she so is out of the box. When I create the new project only, it created all this for me. Okay. So now my my next task is I want to. Uh, I want to integrate this one with the I want to integrate this one with the Oracle database table which I created earlier so for that first I'll go for I am going to apro uh, use the approach uh, database first actually database first entity model so I'll just you right click on this model select add select ADO.NET entity data model okay so you give some name for this can give employee model okay, press ok now you just select EF designer from the database ok click next so now you here you create a new connection ok so I already have the odp.net uh, driver is already installed in my machine so I will just use the uh, oracle uh, database connection settings actually I am going to uh, in this for this tutorial I am using the, um, the instance from Amazon so this is the my DNS name this is my username and I have a service name so I will go here so I will type the username and this is my password ok in this one I am going to use the EZ connect because I have the DNS name with me so this is my DNS name ok and 1521 is the port number and the service name is and so I can click text connection to make sure my connection settings are fine yeah succeeded so now I press ok So basically it's just trying to connect to the my Oracle server and it will try to capture the scheme and other things actually. So let's wait for that. Okay, so now in this one I just select this uh, all these details here. Right? So you just can give the uh, other things like entity you can give employee entity click next click next ok now it's just pulling all the database details from the server ok you can select the tables and for this tutorial I am just going to use the table employee and department I can give a name for this one. This is 
employee model and click finish so now it's creating the model for these two table from my amazon database ok it's almost ready yeah so this is the tables i have and is also showing the in this diagram uh, it is showing the relation also actually so i have an employee table and i have a department table and this one is showing the relation here actually so what i'll do is i'll just go and i'll build this one build my solution yeah i'll just go and I build solution So it's generating the just compiling everything is fine okay now my task is I want to go I am going to create the uh, my controllers for the database model which I just imported from the actor okay I'll right click controller and first I'll stop the instance actually uh, so I'll just go here controller add controller okay you select MVC5 controller with view using entity framework because we don't want to write any code we want to use uh, we are going to use entity framework okay you click add okay now you select the model class so basically at the beginning I want to create the employee one so you just take employee model okay then the data context class you just select employee model okay now we, we want to create a view we want to create reference script libraries you don't touch anything else you just give a name employee controller you just make it like this one letter employee controller you click add Okay, now we have created a controller for employee. Same way, we will create a controller, another controller for the department. Okay, so I'll click Add to Controller. I'll select Entity, frame, entity Framework. Click Add. Then I select this time I am going to create for the department. I'll select Department. Okay, I don't want to touch anything. Everything is there. So I'll just here I make a small letter Department. controller okay so now basically I have created the controller for the department and the employment employee the same time the system created already created the views you can see here the views it created the employee view with all the functionalities create delete edit and everything similarly it created for the department also okay so now I'll just run this one just I'll run this one to see so just creating ok so basically I did not create any link for this one so let me create a link in the top so that I can I'll be able to see the, this one so I'll go here so in the shared there is a shared layout ok I will add so I will add two links one is for the this for the department index and this is the 
name of the controller department same way I'll create another one for the employee the controller uh, action I'll put it index this is the method and here I put employee I just click save I refresh here so I created a department and I created employee so I'll go to the department now okay there is only the one department uh, I'll create another department I'll put a name department ID 2 name computer science and I had a department at Mr. Scott okay and create so I created my so my department as this one is working so I'm just going to check the employee now I'll click employee so there is no employee here so I'll go here and create a new Employee ID is one. Employee name is Hanif. Department I can select Information Technology. Then my salary I put twenty thousand. Create. So you see I created. If you want, I can create another one. William. No sorry, William. This employee ID should be a number. And I put William. Department Computer Science. And sell the 30,000. Create. So this is my first application. So uh, in the in the tutorial, in our first tutorial, I shown how to create uh, the Oracle database using the SQ, uh, SQL developer tools uh, using the integrated IDE. And so as a continuation, continued part of that tutorial. Uh, here I am using the same uh, Oracle database which I created in the previous tutorial and I am adding the controllers I am using Visual Studio connecting to the Oracle and uh, without making using any codes without writing any single line of code using graphical user interface only I am connecting to the Oracle that database I am pulling the model from there and from there I am creating the controller using the entity framework I think this is very simple and you can start with this one this is very easy for the beginners and I hope you will enjoy this tutorial and you will learn something better uh, thank you for watching have a great day bye bye